Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing an ice cream mukbang or ice cream sundae mukbang. I've literally been craving ice cream for like a month now and I was kind of hesitant to do a mukbang on it just because I didn't want it to melt like in the middle of me filming. So hopefully I can, like I just made this, I just put this out so hopefully it doesn't melt and I can just like, well I like my ice cream kind of melty but hopefully it doesn't melt too much. So. I think I'm just going to start eating before I even like talk about anything just because I want to start eating before this video takes forever so and then as I go I'll just tell you guys what's in it um so let's see actually I want to put whipped cream I think I'll start I guess in this corner so this one is caramel cookie crunch ice cream from Talenti, and then it also has, I put caramel kettle corn in there and milk duds. Mm. So you can see the ice cream and stuff in there. And then also for today's video, I was going to talk about my college experience, and I wasn't sure exactly what you guys wanted me to, because I got a request for it. I wasn't sure exactly what you guys wanted me to talk about, so I asked on the community tab on YouTube um, for like some suggestions on what you guys want to know, I guess, for my college experience, just because I just graduated. So I graduated in June of this past year, and I went to, I'll just answer like the basic questions. So yeah, I graduated in June. I went to the University of Washington. I got a degree in political science, just a bachelor's degree. And I also got asked a lot how I paid for it, and I paid for it myself with loans. So I took out loans to go to school for myself. Like, my parents didn't pay for anything. I'm just going to get through like the boring stuff, I guess, in terms of my college experience before I get into like the interesting stuff just because I know these videos can be kind of boring, like my college experience, school is like kind of boring in general, so. So I got a lot of questions on tips too, like tips in college and so just super fast, a couple of my tips are, one, don't buy textbooks right away because sometimes you don't need them and you'll waste like because you can return them obviously for money but when you return them for money from for the school you'll I only got like four dollars back on some books so just don't buy textbooks right away wait to see if you actually need them and then buy them you can always tell within like the first couple days of class if you're gonna need it or not that's number one Number two is take online classes if you can because they're super, super easy. Like, the test will be online so you have the book in front of you when you take the test. I like wrote some notes on my phone for what I want to talk about because I was like looking at the topics you guys suggested so if I'm looking at my phone that's why so oh yeah also rate my professor if you don't know that website it's a really good website because people can go on there that have taken the professor you might take and like rate them based off like how easy they are how much homework there is if you need the textbook or not 
that kind of stuff. So if you don't know what that is, check out that website before you sign up for classes. And then another, my last tip is that what worked easiest for me in college is like, so in class, what I would do is just literally, I would use my computer to take notes and I would just like write pretty much everything the professor said down. And then I wouldn't read the textbook at all. So like my last couple of quarters of school, I didn't buy textbooks because I would just never read them. But the professor, like honestly, the ones I had never really asked questions that they didn't answer in lecture. So I would just write everything they said down, not read the textbook, and then just study the notes before the test. And I would get like actually like pretty decent grades. So yeah, that's my fourth tip, I think. And other than that, like, I don't know, go to your classes the day before school starts just so you know where they are if you don't want to get lost or just leave early. I also never I also never went to class um the first day because I hate icebreakers. So if you don't like icebreakers, you're not going to be graded for not going to the first day of class. I just wouldn't go, and I would just go the second day. So now I guess I can kind of get into the more interesting stuff that I got asked. Or not more interesting stuff, but like... I don't know, study tips and stuff like that, I don't really find that interesting, so that's what I mean when I say that. Okay, and then this ice cream is chocolate chip cookie dough, and I think they said something about brown sugar swirls in it. It's the 7-Eleven brand because my friend said it's actually really good, so I'm going to try it. Chocolate chip cookie dough, and I put fudge strips cookies in it, and then brownie crisp on it as well. I don't know if I'll be able to do this bite, we'll see. The crunch is so good. So, that's what it looks like. So the caramel cookie crunch was like a 7, and then this cookie dough ice cream is like a 9. It's super good. So... A lot of people also ask about the, my dorm situation. And I only dormed my freshman year, so after that I lived off campus, but my freshman year I lived in a dorm, and it was not the best, so I actually knew my roommate, and she was cool, we went to high school together, but, so my dorm, it's called McMahon if you're familiar with UW, and the way it's set up is that there's four individual, or like four rooms that you share with another person so there's four dorms but then it's all connected in one living area and you all share one bathroom so there's eight people eight girls that all share one bathroom and one like super shitty living area with like a janky couch that the school provides And so, like, my roommate was cool, but the girls that I lived in the dorm with were so messy. The bathroom was absolutely disgusting. Like, oh my god, I don't know how, like, looking back, it's funny. Like, I have no idea how I did that. It was almost like a public bathroom, kind of. Like, there was two stalls that you could go to the bathroom in, and then there was, like, a small shower, but, like, 
their stuff would be like all over the shower, like all over the cabinets. Like I don't know if they cleaned. It was like a like a metal table kind of that was by the mirrors. And I don't know if that was clean all year. At the time I was dating my ex, so I like mostly stayed at his place anyways, and I feel like if I would have had to stay in my dorm all the time, I would have like actually killed someone. <laughs> Like, they were fine, the girls. Like, I didn't really get to know them that well, but they were nice enough. They would also just always come back, like, super drunk and super loud. And so they would come back at, like, 2 a.m. and just be, like, screaming. Because we had, like, a hallway that connected our rooms, and they'd be, like, screaming in the hallway. I still don't know why they would do that, because when I drink, I don't personally start screaming, but... So then this next one is chocolate fudge truffle, which I'm so excited to try. It's from Briars, but it's the gelato brand. I had it, I had their strawberry cheesecake one, and the, there's caramel something in my 10K challenge, and so I wanted to try their chocolate truffle one. And then I put vanilla cream pop tarts in it and cocoa krispies. And for this one, I think I'm going to put chocolate fudge magic shell in there. I know it's technically supposed to hit the ice cream so it freezes, but I have too many toppings in there for that to happen, so I kind of just put it everywhere. So we'll see how this goes. Um, so then also a lot of people wanted me to talk about parties and stuff that I went to, and if you watch my videos, you know I'm not like a huge party person in general. So good. This ice cream's like a nine too. Wow. I mean, just look at that. So delicious. I kind of went to parties my freshman year because, like, when you're in college, you kind of think, like, oh, I should be partying, you know? <laughs> like, I'm, like, just freshly in college. That's what people do. So I went to a couple parties my freshman year. I went to... So my s school is kind of weird. It's not really, like, a classic party college. Like, when you think of college, it's not like that, even though it's a really big school. Just because it's more of like an academic school because I think it's rated like fourth or third or something like that for public universities so it's like people there are pretty smart and so a lot of people just aren't in them like you can't even really party I guess because a lot of people are just studying so much but if there was parties it was either frats and sororities or the athletes would have parties too so there'd be like either athlete parties or frat and sorority parties I went to more athlete parties just because I don't really like typically I know there's like obviously some cool people who are in frats and sororities but like when they all get together in a group I'm not like a huge fan of that setting mostly just frat guys actually it's just not my thing so I went to a couple frat parties but I don't know, I just like I'm not into it. And they're also like the frats are usually so small that everyone's kind of crammed into like one area. 
so it's like also super super hot in there so yeah I just it wasn't my favorite the only weekend that really everyone in, at UW or not everyone at UW but like a lot of people at UW would go out would be like Halloween weekend or Halloween week it was like more of a party that everyone went to so that was cool I really liked Halloween week I also got asked if I was in any relationships in college and I was only one my freshman year, sophomore year with my ex-boyfriend which I talked about but I was also kind of the only other guy that I really talked to and like would consider it more than just like talking was just one guy and we don't even talk anymore he lives in California so yeah basically I was only in like two relationships in college I didn't really date that much except for <laughs> one time Sarah and I, my sister, went on a double date together and it was so bad. We want to do and we want to eventually do a story time on it like whenever she wants to come on my channel because it's just like it was so cringy the guys we went out with. Oh my god, I remember like me and her left their apartment and we were just like literally turned to each other and we were like, ugh. <laughs> like it was so bad. Mm. The one time we go on a date, it's like freaking horrible. People also ask a lot about like a worst class experience I had and in general, my classes were okay. I never had like one that was just like crazy horrible but one thing about UW is the professors have to be researchers in order to teach like it's a research university so you can't just be like a professor you have to also be a researcher and so a lot of the times that means that they weren't that good of teachers so like it sucked with any of my science classes like astronomy geology psychology all that kind of stuff was just like horrible when it came to because my political science teachers, I mean, I understood enough about politics to where it would make sense regardless, but with things like astronomy, like, if I don't understand it and you're trying to teach it to me, and you don't know, like, really how to teach to someone, oh my god, it was horrible. Okay, so this next ice cream is almond butter and honey, which is super interesting. It's also from Talenti, so it's the same brand as the cookie crunch one, cookie caramel crunch. And so I put some Nilla wafers in there with some white chocolate covered pretzels. So hopefully it's good. Mm-hmm. This whipped cream's like spraying everywhere. <laughs> um, this is really good though. Especially with the yogurt or the chocolate covered pretzels. Mm. So then I also got asked about my biggest regret in college, which, let me tell you guys. <laughs> I don't really talk about it a lot, but actually I never talk about it, <laughs> but I failed my complete first year of college, or my, not my first year, my first quarter of classes of college, I failed every single class I took. I, so if you, like, watch my videos frequently, you know that I 
have or I deal with depression like on and off and oh my god it was the freaking worst I just stopped going to class like midway through the quarter I didn't even go to finals and I just like I don't even know what my GPA was probably like 0.0, .0 but yeah I failed every single class and so I almost because I was on uh, financial aid because otherwise there's no way I could afford college you know and so I almost got that revoked I so I nearly like got kicked out of school and like couldn't go and yeah I just screwed my GPA up like if I hadn't failed that quarter I my GPA would probably be like I don't even know like a 3.6 but because of that it was like way lower than that I mean it was like a good learning experience in a weird way because I realized that I didn't want to fail out of school I mean Depression is hard because even though life continues on and you have to actually do shit with your life, you just don't want to do anything. And it just, like, you don't want to be around people. You don't want to get out of bed. Like, I literally would just not get out of bed. It was freaking horrible. But, yeah, I, like, now if I go through bouts of it, I have, like, different ways of dealing with it to where I don't just, like, give up on life and just not do anything so yeah it was a good a good learning experience at the end um I was able to prove that I went to enough classes to where they didn't re totally revoke my financial aid so yeah I ended up being able to continue I also got asked if I had any bad partying experience. If you guys are wondering what these are, I'm using socks to keep up the bowl so you guys can see them. But yeah, I also got asked if I had any bad partying experiences. And I've had one pretty bad one. Um. So my sophomore year of college I was living in a house with seven other people which I have so many story times on that too like oh my gosh that was another that was like a whole other thing in itself but um, on New Year's I went up to Bellingham because there's another college Western Washington University and we went up there with me and my roommates, a couple of my roommates, to go up and party with their friends. And everything was fine. It was like a decent night. People were pretty messed up. Kids in Bellingham party like really hard. Because they're all kind of like hippies and so they all do like a lot of drugs. Um, but... I woke up to one of my roommates trying to like literally fill me up and well I didn't like wake up to it I was like kind of half asleep and like kind of drunk I, I didn't I don't think I got that drunk that night I was just kind of drunk and I was like half, a, a half asleep or I was falling asleep and she like starts like touching my leg and like trying to come onto me <laughs> and Ugh, I remember I, like, when I was sleeping, I tried to, like, pretend like I was still sleeping, but, like, roll over, like, roll away from her. And I forget what she, I don't know if she, like, gave up after a while, because I just pretended like I was asleep, and I was like, eh, no, no, no. And then the next morning, oh my god, I forgot about this, the next morning I woke up, and so you know how, like, on your iPhone you can still take pictures with someone's phone even if their phone's locked? I don't know if it's on the new ones, but I know on the older ones you could do that. And I don't know if she thought she was taking pictures on her phone or if she knew it was on mine, but I woke up the next morning and she was, like, she legitimately took photos of me when I was sleeping. Like, how creepy is that? And then the next day was, like, so Bellingham's, like, an hour and a half car ride away. An hour and a half. And the next morning, we all had to drive back together. It was, like, an hour and a half car ride. And I had to be in the car with her for freaking, like, oh, my gosh. 
So yeah, that's like my worst party experience. I also think she had taken Molly or something that night. She was like always kind of drugged out. So she was probably pretty like fucked up when she tried doing that. But I didn't really talk to her after that. I was just like, I can't do that. Like, no. <laughs> so then this next one is chocolate fudge truffle. And I think... Or chocolate fudge tracks. Yeah, chocolate fudge tracks. And it has, I put peanut butter, um, Reese's mix in it with Nutter Butter. So it has like pretzels, um, Reese's pieces, and peanut butter cups. And then also uh, Nutter Butter cereal in it. And I think I forgot to rate the almond butter and honey. But that was like a 7.5 or 8. I still like chocolate stuff the best, so. So I also got asked about my craziest partying experiences. So like every question was about partying. And Nothing ever like super crazy happened to me, but my favorite partying experience was my freshman year and my ex and I had broken up again for another time. And so I went out with my dorm roommate at the time and I got pretty drunk at this frat party and Asher Roth actually was, the reason why we went is because Asher Roth was going to be playing at the frat, which is kind of sad to think about the fact that he has to play at frats now, but <sighs> I remember his last song he played I Love College and people just like went crazy. <laughs> I knew like all the words to the song obviously because I think that song was really popular in like 2008 around there and it was just so cool to be like at a college party in college and hear Asher Roth playing I Love College and everyone just like going insane so yeah that was probably my favorite college party memory other than that when I turned 21 if I would go out, I would mostly just be like to bars and stuff like that. It wasn't ever like a college frat party or anything like that, so. I also got asked if I had any problems or had friends that had problems with drugs or alcohol. And yeah, I feel like my roommates were all like so in denial about being addicted to drugs and alcohol. It was just like for me college was crazy to see how many people actually did that kind of stuff like for me I think of like ecstasy and molly and cocaine as like drugs that not everyone does but I feel like in college like everyone does stuff like that like it would be like at every party you would go to you oh, like I always knew someone who was doing it or like could get it you know so yeah that was like crazy to me but I never personally had a problem with it. I've tried stuff like that before, but I've never, like, had an addiction or anything like that. So, yeah. <laughs> I also got asked about, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. I also got asked about my college crush. I don't know if I rated this one. This one was a uh, 9. And then this is, this last one is strawberry cheesecake with, I put shortbread cookies and white chocolate chips on it. And the reason why I wanted to try this, ras I think it's actually raspberry cheesecake, is because in my 10k challenge, I tried one that was so good, so I'm hoping this one will be just as good. Um, it's gotten like super soft, which is my favorite. so good with the shortbread cookies too. Holy crap.
And then for my college crush, I did have one. And I still don't think he knows who I am. So... I thought he was like the hottest thing ever. Like I, <laughs> so I was. It was freshman year. I saw him walking to my class, and I was like, "Oh my god, that guy is so hot!" And then, the, like the next quarter, I think he randomly ended up being in another one of my classes, even though he, I think, it was a senior at the time. And I was just like every day, like staring at him, like he's so hot. He played football at UW. Should I just say his name? I'm not saying anything bad, so I guess I'll just say his name if you guys are curious. His name was Tyler Miles. And how I found that out, because I didn't really watch, I didn't really care about football games. I think I only went to like a couple, was because he had a backpack. <laughs> I'm so creepy. He had a backpack that had his uh, jersey number on it, and so I went through all the sports teams at UW and found the number and then found the picture that matched who it was and then I found out it was him. So, that was my college crush. But yeah, in general, um, college was more like for me, just somewhere that I kind of went to and just like completed school and I wasn't super involved socially or anything like that. I did try rushing. I actually rushed my freshman year and I dropped out I think like the third day or the second day because it was just like, I could do a story time on that in itself because it's like a longer process to talk about, but my sister and I both rushed and it was just not fun to be judged all day by different girls. And a lot of the girls who are in sororities at UW, their parents are like super rich and they're super rich and it just like wasn't my crowd really. I mean my parents don't have money, I don't have money, you know, so it was like just not my thing. So yeah, I dropped out after the third day or the second day. And I think Sarah dropped out the same time as me, so, yeah. It was just, like, not my thing, but, because I wanted to, like, meet people and stuff, because I knew, I, I had heard that UW was going to be hard to meet people, but because it was, like, such an academically focused school that it wasn't super social, so I wanted to rush for that reason, but it just, like, wasn't my cup of tea. So, yeah, I think I'm going to stop there, even though I still have some ice cream left, just because I'm, like actually really full off this. I don't know, ice cream always fills me up really easily, so I'm gonna stop right there. And I also have nothing else really to talk about, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. I got my ice cream cream out of the way, so because this stuff was actually in my freezer all last week because I bought it for my cheat day and I couldn't have it, so it's been torture to be around it and not eat it because I had had such a big ice cream craving, so I'm glad I got it out of the way. Um, yeah. I also hope you guys enjoyed me talking about my college experience. I hope it was what you guys wanted to know about it. Um, yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video.